Sadie thinks it's so fun to jump in the pool net. No, Sadie. Sadie, you'll, you'll regret your life choices. It's cold. Is this so fun? So Aaron, what are you doing? So I recently watched a clip of Tony Robbins. He says he does the polar plunge every morning. So I have to take the pool net off because our pool guy's coming to service the pool. I'm gonna do the polar plunge. Let's go. You're crazy. It's cold out here. <laughs> Sadie's just running around, yeah, living, living her best. best life. Will you make me some hot chocolate? I would love to make you some hot chocolate. Sadie jumped on me when we were outside and she made it look like I peed my pants. <laughs> right, right, right in the worst spot. So Erin is requesting hot chocolate and it's how. Here, let me put it in the dryer. So she's gonna put a towel in the dryer. That's nice. Okay. Real quick safety measure, guys. The polar plunge is a dangerous act. Now I've read a lot about it and I am prepared and I have plenty of help. So the important thing to note is do not stay in the water for more than two minutes when the water is less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I brought because, a thermometer. Oh, why well, the pool thing oh, gives me the temperature. How so. much is it at? 56 degrees. 56 degrees, yeah. so yeah, it's actually warmer than I thought. I'm curious what this is. 55. 55? You got this. Tony Robbins, this is for you, buddy. Okay, you ready? Set, go! Good morning, keep it crazy family. Today, it's just not working out the way that I planned. I feel like that's been my days recently, like between rain and different stuff happening. It's like, uh, so. We had, two, we had two videos we were gonna film the other day and it just rained and it ruined both videos. I know, it was very tragic. Yeah. Very tragic. Today was the same. I was supposed, or we were, Ariana and I were going to do our first Amazon live together. And I call her this morning, and the way she answered, I was like, "Oh, you're sick, aren't you?" It's flu and season. She's like, right? "Yes, I'm so sick," and so we're not doing that either. But I am going to take her some tomato soup and some medicine and stuff. So I hope she feels better soon. Uh, but Joe had a really great idea to run over to Walmart really quick. And explain to them real quick. So we've been looking at, uh, for doing some, some good things for other people, giving back. And we found an organization that is putting together hygiene kits uh, to go ahead and give to the homeless. I'm going to actually be doing that tomorrow. I'm going to be putting those so kits you'll see together that on Beyond, on Beyond Crazy. Crazy. Uh, so that should be up uh, sometime you know, in the next week. But we're going to actually go pick up and buy a bunch of stuff that we can donate because they are always needing donations. Yes, so that's what we're gonna go do right now. Okay, so they all do want travel sized um, things because it's easier to carry and like put in the little kits. So we're gonna get travel size deodorant. I got Old Spice, I love Old Spice. Uh, what else? Dude wipes. <laughs> what exactly wipes. is a dude wipe? Uh, never mind. Don't ask. Don't answer my question. Um, <laughs> but where do you find that? Is my dude, question. Dude, dude wipes is specifically a brand. Oh. I think pretty much any. That's any, just a hand, that's sanitizer. A hand sanitizer. We need body wipes. So like baby wipes, like kind of like a baby like wipe. Like huggies, yeah. like this. Um, that could work. Let's just get a few of these, and then we'll get a few other kinds. So we found on the go dude wipes. How many does Tear, it come unfold, with? and wipe, dude. Okay. So these it comes ones, with thirty these ones of are them. Interesting, because this bag's all or this box is already torn, but that might be a good idea because they're little, yeah, because they're just little wipes. Okay. Oh, so, so do you want to grab? So a let's few of those? get yeah. All right, so we found ourselves a good batch of stuff that we're gonna donate. 
uh, different hygienic stuff. But one other thing that they were looking for is they were looking for like Nutrigrain or, you know, just the, the breakfast bars. Oh, okay. And I was like, that's okay, good. that's kind of a random item. I was talking to the lady that, that runs it. And she mentioned a lot of people in the homeless population don't have all of their teeth. And so eating hard or crunchy stuff is very hard. Oh, those are very soft. They are so very soft. That's really cool that they're looking for that. So we can yeah. go ahead and get those uh, as well. Okay. We're going to head over to that item. All right. And so we're going to go with the, uh, on these specifically, the generic brand because we can get way more. And, and they're just as good. Honestly, I've tried as, them both. They're just as good. And I was talking to the lady and she's like, they need as much as they can of everything. And so uh, this should be fantastic. Okay, so Ariana didn't have any medicine. So we're just running her over some Sudafed and then some tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. We just dropped everything off at home and now we're back in the car. Oh, her little tree. It's cute. All right, we dropped it off. She's so sick. Yeah, you can just hear it. Well, you can hear it in her voice and just how she's feeling. And uh, so hopefully that medicine helps her feel better. And yeah, hopefully she gets better soon. So the next thing I have to do, so I'm gonna go home and eat really quick. And then Melinda is having injections done in her back um, from her car accident and all this stuff. She just had a lot of back issues. So they actually have to put her under anesthesia today and and then do these injections like in her spine kind of thing i don't know i just feel so bad for her so that's the next thing we're doing i'm all done eating uh aaron's coming with me we are on our way to pick up melinda to take her to her appointment and i'm just fingers crossed praying that it goes well and all of that I know it will her last one went really good this is actually her second one like this or like actually having to be sedated for it but it's just one of those days where it's like they're running around and just taking care of everything but um, so far so good with everything though so we picked Melinda up Hi. so to see how she's doing and all of that check out crazy treasures and she'll she walks you through everything. So we are on our way over to her doctor's office place. Uh, thankfully, Scarlett is at her dad's house this weekend and Jamie is actually staying with Melinda. She's been staying there quite a bit recently, um, but she's gonna be helping Melinda out. And anything you need, no lifting, no nothing. No nothing. Let Jamie help yeah. or let us help, call us. Maybe you should check if I have water. <laughs> right. Yeah, really? did you have water? <laughs> <laughs> Two checks left. Okay, good. <laughs> it should be good. <laughs> I know, last time we went and got our water and all of that. So I am rushing home really quick. I'm just filming this for two seconds. But um, Melinda's still in her procedure, but we got a call from home saying that Aurora had a seizure, which she hasn't had one in over two years. So it's really, really worrying me. Um, thankfully, Erin was able to drive me to Melinda's house really quick. I picked up her truck and I'm headed home right now to see what's going on. So it's actually a few days later from the accident with Aurora. So basically what happened was she was coming down the stairs and she, um, her, foot her foot slipped out from under her and then she hit her tailbone and her back like really bad. And I'm so, so grateful that Aunt Bonnie was there and Bonnie was like, are you okay? And she starts going up the stairs cause she's still towards the top of the stairs and Aurora all of a sudden just passes out. We don't know whether it was a seizure or not, like for sure, but she acted like it was a seizure. My Aunt Bonnie caught her, like she kind of went down, but my Aunt Bonnie caught her and then um, was able to keep her safe and that kind of thing from falling down the stairs. But had my Aunt Bonnie not been there, like that's what plays in my she mind. She would have most. fallen down the entire staircase, mm. like completely passed out. And Oh, that's when you know that something higher than yourself is stepping in to help you. And I truly believe in that. That's I. And life can just like change in the like a blink of an eye. Yes. Like it's yes. so Those are the moments in life that you need to appreciate life because things can happen in a moment and change your life forever. I know. 
Well, I am and so grateful. Hey, you I am were so like grateful. Her guardian angel. I, I thank my angels so for thankful. letting me be there. I'm not kidding you. I, I replay it in my mind. Like, like one time I was in a car accident. I was going down the freeway in a little sports car, and a front end loader with his big bucket was crossing the freeway, and we had these K bars restricted down to one lane. And so I was so close by the, because it was at night, mm -hmm. I was so close to that big bucket, I was like, can I stop in time? Or do I just punch it? You just have that one second. You have that second. So, so I punched it, and it took the whole top, the bucket hit the top, the side of my car, on the top, and took the whole top of my car off. Oh my God. And every window broke in at me. And I don't know how I kept it in the K-bars, and right below was a train going. And I pulled off the side of the road, and I jumped out of my car, and I was like, I'm alive, I'm alive. And right behind me was a firefighter coming in his private vehicle to Vegas. And he jumped in and, and saved me. I mean, just, I was so out of it. And every, in that moment, everything just went slow. And I watched all the workers on the side of the road and I know that an angel then helped me, my car, get to a point where I could get off the road. Aww. I, I'm serious. So, we all have angels. We all have angels. So, it was a really emotional day. Obviously, we didn't vlog that day um, after all that happened because it was... It was really hard and it was hard. So I did have security cameras where we could go back and watch exactly what happened. Not gonna put that in the video because I can't even watch it without no, just falling. I can't either. I can't either. Yeah, we all just sit and cry anytime we see it. Um, but oh, so scary. So just remember, no matter who you are, what, what you're going through, there's always an angel there for you. There is. There really is. There really is. All and hug moving. those ones that are close to you because things can change so fast and oh it's so gosh. scary. Bow a pig. Pig. Pick how many days left? Yeah. I think we're right here. Oh yeah. Okay, so Melinda is doing Sick of me, sick of me. I gotta go bone me. So, real quick, Melinda is doing good. Um everything went really well with her procedure. She did have kind of you're singing chicken wing? You're so cute. Okay, so um, she had a hard time waking up a little bit from the procedure, but she's doing really good. It's now a couple days later. She's up and walking and feeling much better, so that's really good. <laughs> I am so glad you're in such a good mood today. <laughs> Why are you the cutest thing ever? <laughs> so to explain Aurora's thing a little bit more, so when she passed out and when the whole thing happened, um, she did kind of hit her head. I mean, Aunt Bonnie like caught her on the stairs, but she did like bump her head right here. So we did take her over to the doctor. Uh, she did not have a concussion, anything like that, thank goodness. But they don't know whether she had like a full seizure or whether it was just she passed out because of falling and hurting her tailbone or like her back she had hit like the lower part um they were like she could have been in so much pain that she because she was like holding her breath and that may have made her like pass out which i think is what happened so they're not going to put her on seizure medication anything like that just yet um, but they want us to keep an eye on her. I mean, she's been good. I mean, you could say she's in a really great mood. Um, but she's been really good over the last few days, been acting just normal and like herself. But I'm just praying, praying that it wasn't a seizure, that it was just like a one-time thing. So we're gonna keep an eye on her. But so far, everything good. Um, so we are all going to the zoo lights tonight with the crazy metals and all of that. It'll be nice to get out of the house and just go look at some Christmas stuff because we've had some rough couple of days. Um, but Melinda's coming to Zoo Lights too, so that'll be good for her to get out. And yeah, we're just gonna go have fun as a family. So every year, Max gets a present for Landon and he makes him open it. Like usually like crazy duct tape or something where it's like so hard to open. And then he's not allowed to use like anything to open it, just his hands. This year, look what he's doing. Yeah, it's like he's in here, I'm like, are you being serious? Oh, no. 
Are you kidding well, me? Well, not so this year. He's, he's got to let him use a butter. I'm giving him a plastic knife, one of the flimsy yeah. plastic knives. I think I'll give him two of them because I know one's going to break. Well, that's nice. <laughs> is that present <laughs> worth it? The quality of the plastic knife. Yeah, I'm like, is it even So nice? look at the zip tie present. It's getting crazy. Now, Matt, and then after, Max is going to duct tape the whole thing again. Yeah, I'm going to duct tape it. See, I feel like he's going to cut, like, one of these spots, yeah. one of the more open spots, and then take the presents out of the hole. Now, this makes me want to get That's far. So maybe we put Christmas more? Party oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It one year, he did all of this duct tape and all of this craziness, and like all I had was, like, a gift it. card on the inside. Yeah, <laughs> it was, like... They make Christmas duct tape. <laughs> I know, they um, probably do. This is for all of our presents. <laughs> then a Christmas morning would last all day. <laughs> It'd be fun. <laughs> that would be an interesting oh, thing. Yeah. It is finished. It looks very innocent. Uh, it's just what's it's underneath. One the ins it's what's on the inside. It looks like something so. grandma or grandpa would wrap it's for what's me. On the inside. I know. Now put a bow on it and it'll be super All cute. Right. So we found this nice wool sock for Logan's foot. <laughs> and a nice warm jacket. Because it's going to be even colder tonight than it was the other night when we went to Champs Bar. And we're going to try to see if we should wear a beanie. I've never really been a beanie person, you know? No beanie. <laughs> I don't really, beanies aren't really my thing. Comfy over cute, all day, every day. <laughs> Savannah was saying comfy over cute, but I think she's cute and comfy. You're very good. It's pretty hot. I, I like your outfit. I've been down the stairs like three times just now. Really? Yeah. You ready to go to Zoo Lights? Yeah. This is gonna be so I, much fun. Mom, another oh, thing. is wrapping <laughs> some stuff. I've never been to a zoo. Put it. What? Until Mama. today, yeah. Mom. I just keep thinking Mom. of things. She has little jingle socks on. Oh, that's cute. Does it jingle when you walk? Yes. I got it. You're giving Scarlett that present? Oh, you're so nice. Guys. All right, let's go. Let's go to Zoo Lights. I got a little um, tape on it. And I got a little Okay. All right, we're leaving. Let's go. Fun. This tonight. is gonna be really fun. I'm excited. How's it going? Hi. How are you? Good. Mom, is there oh, chicken I'm a bit <laughs> Was that the first question we asked? Is there chicken? Wow. I have no idea. Is there chicken? I haven't been to the zoo in a while. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Hi. I made it. You made it. I, Yay. Left, I left like 10 minutes after you guys left and I was scared I was gonna Aww. not make it. Ariana's supposed to be coming. Uh -huh. She should be here soon. So cute. We just stopped at this little restaurant before we get started on everything. And the lady up front, she was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love these so much. She's like, it's crazy pieces here too. And I'm like, everybody's here. She's like, it's so exciting. around the sponge? Yeah? No, okay. I can't. It's the bending. Oh, uh, it's the bending. Gotcha. So we were just talking about the other day, <laughs> Melinda or 
hand asked to drive Melinda's truck. Melinda said no. I've always told her no. She's asked me multiple times. She's like, can I drive your truck? And I'm she's like, like no. not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Five more months. <laughs> and then when I took it a few days ago, uh, when the whole thing happened, I had Melinda's truck at my house. So dad was like, hey, Hannah and Max, can you go take Melinda back her truck? And so she got to drive it. And she was like, Melinda, I drove it. <laughs> Actually, she didn't tell you. She didn't tell you. I just dropped it off. And I was like, tell, I was like, Jamie, tell Melinda. He's right here. And I was like, wait, Hannah and Max is here? She's like, yeah, I'm going to have to drop my truck. I should have called her. And like, I know you drove my truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, she did good. She got it home safely. That's what matters. Scratch these dents right here. It's a flamingo. That's not a flamingo. Yes, it is. What is it? It's a flamingo. <laughs> Callie's right. It's a <laughs> no, it's literally a flamingo. Oh, yeah! It's a flamingo. If our hearts beat for the here and the now, we'll make it somehow. What do you say? Look up to the sky and see the light. Feel the air in your lungs. It'll be alright. Every breath that you take. Do you guys see a break already? Oh, it's over. <laughs> wait, wait, you'll be back in. Yeah. We're sitting here. Ah. You guys having fun? Yeah. Hey, let's go over again. Ah. You know, we're gonna we're gonna finish this. Yeah. I don't know who's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm glad they're having fun with the cousins and all together. It's really cute. They'll run ahead of us and then sit down on a bench. And yeah. And they're getting all their energy out. They're being really wild. Huh? They're gonna sleep good tonight. They are gonna sleep good tonight. Break it down. Break it down where? Break it down. Right here. Oh. Bella and I are gonna ride the camels because yeah, we're in the line for, to ride the camel, and I'm very excited. Well, have you ever ridden a camel before? I've kissed a camel. You wanted to be swallowed. I've ridden a camel, but. <laughs> Too. There's no way those were real. Ready? Ready? Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> those things were real. Dude, that is insane. I scared that was ice That is so crazy. Yeah, crazy to think these things were freaking real. We're scared of like lions and tigers and stuff, but like, what the heck are these things? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's no way we would have all died. Okay, I think we all, for every one of them, we try to sound like them, okay? Let's give our best interpretation, okay? Yeah, no, you're the only one. You just embarrassed yourself. <laughs> uh oh, no way. There's no way this was real, bro. The Titanus. Imagine little baby dinosaurs running around still. That'd be so cute. This is the one, um, like blue from Jurassic Park. Or yeah. Okay, look how cute these things are. Those are so cute. That's the one. Okay, never mind. We will not talk. We will not talk. He told me to shut up. He growled at me as soon as I was up there. We will not talk. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite? You're kind of tired? Are you kidding me? I'm <laughs> tired. I think that's a, something dad should be able to say. Pushing you up all the heels. Really? Really? Yeah, because it would be pulling away from me the entire time. So I'm trying not to let him. Yeah, and I got this one. Rawr. You know what I'm saying? Right? 
<laughs> Just like that. <gasps> Whoa. Is that one scary? It me. No, he's not gonna bite you. He's just fake. It's just oh, light. You're gonna fight him? Yeah. I think he'd well, win, Aurora. Right? I love T-Rex because the movie Jurassic Park. I know, that is a good movie. That's for sure. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it is really, really cold out here, so we're gonna get some hot chocolate. Very good. Hi. Or hands up. Hi. 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 Okay, never mind on the hot chocolate. It's really, really crazy expensive. I just wanted seven hot chocolate, and they wanted to seven hot chocolates, and they wanted to charge me fifteen dollars. I was like, I was like, we have hot chocolate machines at home. Yeah, we'll do it. In <laughs> this wind is getting a little crazy, by the way. Yeah, it is. I feel like I'm all over the place, kind of like Beyonce. <laughs> it's like you're gonna break out into a song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite light? Um, probably all of the animals. Aww. There were mainly, some cool ones, Mainly huh? the elephants, because they just look cool. Yeah, those did look cool. My favorite one is the apes. Or oh. that. <laughs> or that? An elf. There are some cool looking lights. Yeah. My favorite part was, was, um, riding on their backs. Uh, I got to go on Casey's back and Avea's back, um, Trey's back a lot. So Trey's spending time Trey's with the cousins. Back. Um, Braxton's back. So we just got back from Zoo Lights and it was really fun. It was freezing though. It, it was, was really cold, cold, but it was a right lot of fun. When we started coming home, it started raining. So we left right on time. It did. It started raining right as we were leaving. So we were thankful that it was like the perfect timing as far as that goes. I was the asleep cousins. the whole time. So on the car the ride cousins, home. Though. Yeah. Yeah. The cousins were so much fun to hang out with, right? The cousins stayed there. Oh yeah, They're the cousins stayed a little right bit longer now. than we stayed. They're getting rained on. No, now. they probably left too. I felt like a little overwhelmed today. But I feel like it made me like focus on all the little moments and just enjoying all of that time together. Um, and some days you just may not feel like doing certain things or you may be going through a lot in the background. Um, and yeah, I get it. I totally understand because that's the day I had today. But I, I'm very thankful for all the little moments that I had today and all the sweet stuff. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. love.